In order to display systems information in the desktop, you need a tool called BG Info, which displays relevant information about a Windows computer on the desktop's background, such as computer name, IP address, service pack version, and much more. Click the link to download BG Info in order to obtain a zip file and extract the content in a local folder in the C drive. You will have two files. One is for 32-bit systems and the other one for the 64-bit systems. Double-click the BG Info 64. By default, will display all the fields that are available. You may add or remove fields as you need. You can also have options to add backgrounds to set the position of the information in the desktop and you can also choose in which desktops you want to include it. You also have a button to preview the configuration. You can select the font and the size. Now save the template in, the pub in a public directory where all the users you are planning to configure have read access. This is important because you would need to configure this for users in order to run this particular program and get the information on the desktop. As you can see now, we have a BG info configuration file in the same directory where we have this program. So now let's go back and configure how to run this configuration through the local computer policy. Just make sure to select the user configuration, the Windows settings, scripts, logon, and logoff. And just double click at the logon property to include the script that needs to run every time the user logs in. In the script name, enter the BG Info executable, which is the program we want to run. In the script parameters, enter the name of the template BGI file, but just make sure that you're entering the full pad location of the template file and also include the parameter timer with zero. You can click apply and then OK. Now, we want to run this program and log on because we want to pull fresh information from the system and have it available on the desktop. As you can see now, we have all this information available in the desktop and we have it in the upper right corner. So you have there all the information you need to see from this system, like the IP address or the username who's logged in or how much um, hard drive free space you have. So thanks for watching.